Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily Louise Hurd and I'm an artist. Uh, and today I want to talk a little bit about some of the realities of being an artist that aren't necessarily spoken about too much, um, aren't necessarily well known. So a little bit of background about me before I start. I am a part-time artist with a full-time day job. And I have been a part-time artist for a, with a full-time day job for about four years. And in those four years, I have learned a few things about being an artist that I feel like need to be shared. So one of the biggest things about being an artist um, that I don't think people talk about so much um, without viewing it in a stereotypical way. So I'm not coming at this from a stereotypical point of view. I'm coming at it from a point of view that um, I've experienced it and it's not easy. Um, and the first one is that being an artist is hard. It's not a typical career path. It's not one that we are actively encouraged to do. It's one that's viewed with a certain amount of fear and judgment um, by most other people because we're taught that if you want to be an artist, you're living in a dreamland and you're not going to make any money for it, why don't you get a real job? Now it might not necessarily be said openly to you like that, um, but the chances are if you have expressed an urge or a desire to chase a career of being an artist, it might not have been viewed with a huge amount of, yes, go for it, you can do it. It's like, oh, well, you know, t and it's all sensible of reasoning, sure, I get that. Um, but it's just to put it out there that sometimes you're not only your worst en your own worst enemy in terms of not trusting your instincts and following a career that you want to career follow, um, you also have to face a certain amount of, um, not necessarily judgement, but a certain amount of, are you sure you want to do that? from other people. Um, and it's never done, for, you know, in my experience it's never been done with malice, it's always been done out of love. Um, but it doesn't necessarily make you feel like you're always making the right decision. So you have to kind of keep telling yourself, yes, no, I, I am, this is what I want. And you also have to keep um, other people's voices out of your head if they're not also very supportive of your dream. Um, so that's one thing. People generally pursue, um, sorry, generally perceive a career in art to be something that um, only the really lucky succeed at. Um, you have to be quite mad to do it and um, those things are a little bit true in some ways it's a lot of hard work and it's something you shouldn't pursue lightly um, but it's not something that I feel should be discouraged I think we should be actively encouraged to become artists if we feel like we want to being an artist is learning to overcome your fears in a way so everyone kind of knows about the blank canvas being intimidating in front of you and you have to try and put something on there um, and there's the fear of not only that you're not going to achieve from the painting what you want but there's also the fear that other people are going to not understand it they're not going to like it and you've poured your heart and soul into this piece um, and nobody you know not everyone likes it and that is fine not everyone is going to like your work and that's something you kind of have to understand art is very subjective um, and people can be hurtful I don't like that. I mean, why have you used so many colours? Uh, what are those weird hot air balloons doing? I, like, I used to paint a lot of hair, hot air balloons. Um, and that's fine. That's kind of what's good about being an artist. And if you want to be an artist, you have to have very thick skin. Um, because you're, especially nowadays with the way that we promote ourselves, we use social media. Um, and people can say what the heck they want on there. They can say something they wouldn't necessarily say to your face. Um, I mean, I'm quite lucky, I don't get a lot of negative comments, but, you know, you do get the odd backhanded comment like, weird colour choice, or, I don't know, not necessarily directly about my work. Um, but you can't please everyone, you simply can't, and I am an abstract sort of contemporary painter, um, and not everyone gets it, and that's fine, but I sell paintings and sell paintings to people that do get it and do love it. Um, it's subjective and you cannot take it personally if someone doesn't like your work, you just can't. Um, so that's one thing you've got to learn. You've got to learn that your art is for a select audience. Not everyone's going to like it and that is fine. If you're a part-time artist with a full-time day job, you either need a time machine 
or you need to be really, really, really dedicated and really, really, really organised um, because otherwise you're not going to get everything done. Um, so being an artist is really hard. You have to do the production yourself. You have to do the marketing yourself, the accounts, the sales, the shipping, the emails, the admin, everything you have, taking the photos, which takes time. Um, recording a YouTube video, this is the first one um, I've ever done. E everything takes time. You don't have like a little team of people, unless you're lucky and you've made it, then you have to be very, very organised, very motivated. Sometimes it's easy to come home from work and be like, I'm too tired to paint. I don't want to paint today. But you do, but you don't want to have the energy. I come home from work like that all the time and you just have to power through. Otherwise, you're never going to get it done. It's just, who's go no one's going to do your paintings for you. Got to do those paintings yourself. Buck up and paint yourself. Being an artist is hard and the chances are, unless you're very, very lucky, you are not a full-time artist. Most of us, or at least quite a lot of us, manage our art careers, myself included, alongside either a part-time day job or a full-time day job. I'm a full-time day job at the moment. Um, and it can be hard not doing something that you love all day every day and rather doing something that you have to do in order to support yourself um, and not being able to pursue your dream as wholeheartedly as you'd love you can't throw yourself completely into it um, with every moment of your free time because you have to balance it along time commitments and that's just life that's the way it is um, but it doesn't mean that it's any less frustrating and this frustration can be something that's sometimes quite difficult to deal with. Being an artist isn't a choice. If you feel the need to create and you create, um, it's something that you kind of can't shut up. It won't go away. Um, and by not pursuing it and not painting or doing whatever it is that you do, um, it can be very difficult. Um, and I found over the last few years that Managing a full-time day job with my need to paint can be quite quite hard in terms of emotionally um, Because at the end of the day all that really matters to you is is painting um, and Being able to paint and there's dogs barking in the background. Can you hear that? Shh god I'm talking um, What was I saying? And sometimes not being able to do that is is drain it's draining um, because you're constantly fighting to have the energy to do something that you love when it's being sucked out of you by you know everyone comes home from work tired um, but it's hard to keep that momentum going to create when you come home and you're tired and the more tired you are the less likely you are to paint the less likely you are to paint the more upset you become. The more upset you become about not being able to paint, the less likely you can paint. So it's like this vicious circle um, and it's something that I have um, battled with for quite some time um, and I'm fortunate that I have a very supportive husband who is very um, positive and supportive about my work and that's great and he kind of helps lift me out of those uh, doom and gloom. Um, blocks that I come across where I'm just too tired to paint. So I realised that this video could have been potentially a little bit heavy but that's the realities of being an artist sometimes. It's not all fun and games and painting and getting he getting paint on everything. I get paint on everything. Like I literally, I probably have paint on me now. I do have paint on me now. Like you, it's not all it's not all fun games, there are some bits behind the scenes that not everyone sees, so I thought it was important to talk about it. Um, but the reality is that painting is so much fun, and I wouldn't want my life to be any other way. Um, and I hope in some way you could relate to this video, or found it useful, or insightful, or just, you know, anything. Um, it's just... I wanted to talk about it, um, my next video will be more fun, but this I wanted to talk about this, it's something that's been on my mind for a while. Um, so yeah, if you liked this video, 
click subscribe. I'm going to be making more. Um, I'm going to be making more. Um, or if you have, you know, experienced something similar, get in touch, leave a comment. I want to hear from you. Um, and yeah, thank you for joining me. Toodaloo!